cardioversion for acute atrial fibrillation that's lasted, for example, less than 48 hours. Now, there's a phrase that's filled with controversy. For example, should we anticoagulate these patients? Can we cardiovert safely without thromboembolic complications? And what are the rates of thromboembolic complications? Now in Jack, research have looked at all these issues. What they have shown is that overall thromboembolic complications with cardioversion for acute atrial fibrillation are low, probably overall less than 1%. But there are subgroups in which thromboembolic complications are far higher. Patients with diabetes, patients with heart failure, and interestingly, women have a higher thromboembolic complication rate after acute cardioversion without anticoagulation. And it turns out that the combination of diabetes and heart failure are a particularly high risk group at about 10% complication rate at 30 days. Low risk groups are patients without heart failure and age less than 60 years. An accompanying editorial points out that anticoagulation for acute cardioversion is probably the right thing to do, though I will bet you that most of us have not yet supported that kind of thinking. In any case, it looks like anticoagulation is a good idea regardless, even though the complication rate overall is low, but look for the high-risk subgroups when you go to cardiovert acute atrial fibrillation. For Cardiovert Source, I'm Peter Block.